Replacing the heating element. I'm going to take this float off real quick so you can get a better view in there. Okay, if you can see where the elements are, there's two brackets in here that the heating element basically rests on. Okay, so it would be taken out and up the top and the new one brought in. These two brackets on the outside are never removed. They stay in place. This bracket here and the gaskets here come off and go back on. So if you can look here, the heating element would slide through. Okay. And when you start them new, and it's on the instructions that you get, there's kind of a milky colored one that goes on first, and I just simply push them down on. That one didn't have a hole in it, so we will change that. You push them down in place. Now there's two gaskets. You'll see here one's a little bigger than the other. You put the little one on first. And the, the cutout areas are to kind of sit over the two nuts that hold the main bracket in place. Then you put the larger one on. And then you have the gasket bracket. And that goes with the bends down. And then you install, they come with new nuts in the packaging. And what I do is just get them started. And these you can tighten down just as hard as you want because they'll stop when they hit the inside nuts. Okay, now there is a little round gasket, looks like a washer. It goes over the end here, and that's covered with a white plastic or mylar type piece. Then you put the nut on. Now, as you start to get this down, you'll notice it'll start to cone over. Okay, so it kind of covers the top of that heating element. And this you don't need to overly tighten, but it needs to be snug. And then you'll have your wire with your end, round end. Now this is where you got to be a little careful so that you don't tighten this down right onto the nut. I always put it off to the side here a little bit and then just snug it down good so that the wire doesn't wiggle when the... Okay, and it's tight and you're ready to go. Now things I look for when you're replacing an element is make sure that these ends are clean and don't look like they're burnt. 
if they're nice and clean and crisp or if you can take a little sandpaper and kind of polish them up a little bit before you put them back on here, that's a good deal. It creates for better conductivity and you don't have any heating of the wires. If they look burnt or they're dark colored, cut them off, put a new end on them. Crimp them on or solder them on. Now, one other point that we should have put, I guess, in the beginning, everything you need to do to service the Durasteel unit is done from here. You only need to remove four screws and this front cover. None of the other screws anywhere else in the still need to be removed. This is the only cover you need to remove. Every bit of service is done right from this front cover. Okay. Sometimes it's easier to set them on the end. In other words, take the cover off, tip them up on the back side here. It's easier to work on them, but that's it. It's all done right here from the front. To follow up on that, this is the boiling chamber that you see in the unit here that's installed that we've been showing you about. And what you're going to do is reach in and hold on to the heating element from the inside of the boiling chamber. And the same with the float, you can reach in to do that. So here I'm in reaching in and getting a hold of the heating element. Whether you take it out, put a new one in, or just need to replace the gaskets here, that's all done through the cover on the top. So it's just like you see here. I go down and get the element. If I'm going to put the float back on, then I'm going to come in. and put it on the, on the float arm. And sometimes this can be a little frustrating because it doesn't, you can't see it to line it up properly. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna hit the float actuator up here and that'll allow you to, to get the alignment better. So now you got your float going in. And I would do a little torque on that float so it doesn't come off later. And they're going up and down. You don't want to bend that rod, but just make sure it's got it's good and snug. Okay. 